you've attended San Diego Comic-Con, the neighborhood you're probably most familiar with in San Diego is the Gas Lamp. It is literally right across the street from the convention center and what you typically walk through when you go through the big front doors the first day of the con. Since Hall D, the main entrance of the convention center, exits across Harbor Drive and directly onto Fifth Avenue, it is our local tourist trap area filled with little shops and restaurants and lots and lots of people. But there's another downtown San Diego neighborhood that's right next to the convention center. And you've probably been there, maybe even stayed in a hotel there, eaten in a restaurant there, and don't even know its name. It's where I live, East Village. East Village is downtown San Diego's largest neighborhood, encompassing about 130 blocks. It's bounded by 6th Avenue to the west, the 5, that's I-5 if you're not a Southern Californian, to the east, Ash Street, sort of, to the north, and Commercial, also sort of, to the south. We do have a few markers embedded in the sidewalks if you know where to look, but other San Diego neighborhoods have fancy Art Deco arches and signs. East Village doesn't. So if you want to escape some of the typical crowds on 4th and 5th Avenue, you may find that it makes sense to make a right turn on J or K or Island Avenue and head into East Village. Since Comic-Con tends to be a massive sleep deprivation experiment, one of the most important things to me is to know where I can get a good cup of coffee first thing in the morning, or tea if that's more your bag, baby. Coffee and Tea Collective is at 7th and J, across the street from Bubs. They open at 7 a.m. and serve pour-overs, excellent espresso, tea, and a small assortment of pastries. Copa Vita is just a bit further down J Street at 9th Avenue. Also opening at 7 a.m., they're a bit larger shop with a selection of breakfast and lunch items, including sandwiches, soups, salads, rice bowls, and desserts, some of which are vegan options. Seahorse Coffee is a bit further out at 13th and Market, but it's a great choice if you're nearby. They open at 6 a.m., 7 on weekends, and have fruit smoothies and coffee drinks. I'm getting a Metalocalypse-inspired Dr. Roxo, which has a lot of coconut. Seriously, a lot of coconut. If you take the footbridge from the convention center in Hilton Bayfront area across Harbor Drive, you end up on Park Boulevard, on the south side of Petco Park. Hey, there's one of those sidewalk markers. Just across Park Boulevard from Petco Park is Achilles Coffee. They serve locally roasted beans as pour overs and espresso drinks, and also serve breakfast and lunch items. They start serving coffee at 6.30 and food at seven. And finally, one of my absolute favorite local spots is J.N. Tony's Discount Cured Meats and Negroni Warehouse at 9th Avenue and Market Street. And yes, I am 100% serious about that name. It's an Italian-style bar and coffee house, and it was founded in part by one of my favorite local bartenders. They start serving coffee and breakfast at 8 a.m. and cocktails at 11 for all of your day drinking needs, along with bar snacks and sandwiches. They've got great music and a super chill vibe. If you know me, you know that I drink an absurd amount of coffee. And I'm kind of a snob about it on top of that. You can get great cups of coffee at all of these places and you'll be supporting local businesses, not a union-busting mega corporation, if you know what I mean. By the way, the Broken Yolk, super popular breakfast spot with con goers, is on the east side of 6th Avenue, so it's not in the Gas Lamp. But Gas Lamp Breakfast Company, damn near across the street at 6th and J, is. It opened in early 2020, and it has been very popular with locals and tourists alike, so you have an additional option to save time waiting for a table. The Mission is a Latin-Asian fusion restaurant at 13th and J. They have killer pancakes and French toast, along with quesadillas and breakfast burritos, and a lot of their items can be ordered vegan 
or gluten-free. My last suggestion to start your day is Baked Cafe at 10th and Island. If you're craving a bagel, they've got you covered with traditional and non-traditional toppings, along with coffee and tea and a handful of other breakfast and lunch options. There are other great breakfast and coffee places in East Village and a few new spots in the gas lamp, but subjecting the smaller joints to even modest Comic-Con style crowds would probably not be a great experience for you or the shop. Let's not hug them to death, okay? You're hurting me. Put me down, please. But you're here to attend the con, right? In addition to the convention center itself and the surrounding hotels, there are workshops and panels each day at the San Diego Central Library, which you can get to in about 10 minutes, give or take, from the convention center by taking the footbridge across Harbor Drive to Park Avenue or by turning right onto J Street from Fifth Avenue and walking east. It's a huge modern building with a big latticework metal dome on top. You really can't miss it. There are panels in both the Neil Morgan Auditorium, which is just off the courtyard on the first floor, across from the main library building, and in the gorgeous Helen Price Reading Room on the eighth floor, directly under the library's dome. Hey, you do like comic books, right? East Village is also home to the only comic book shop within five miles of the San Diego Convention Center, which makes Now or Never Comics on the corner of 11th and F, the official local comic book shop of San Diego Comic-Con, as far as I'm concerned. They've got everything that you'd expect and a few things you might not. New comics, back issues, rare issues, graphic novels, vintage video games, and good advice, and they will be having signings by Ryan Cady and Erica Schultz on Tuesday and Wednesday, the week of the con. Upstairs, there's a huge variety of new and vintage toys, including Funko Pops, Marvel figures, Star Wars figures, and vehicles, and they've even got a ridiculously huge G.I. Joe aircraft carrier. In case your parents never let you get one, you're an adult now, and you can buy what you want. Are you a tabletop gamer or think that you might want to be? Bards and Cards is a brand new game shop in the Gas Lamp on Fifth Avenue between E and Broadway. They have a strong focus on board games, miniatures, and tabletop role playing games with a great selection of games, figures, paints, and dice and they're happy to listen to you and make suggestions. Like all good game shops, there's also a friendly space to play at the back of the shop. One of the owners is actually one of my neighbors. They're currently stocking up for the con, so please do give them a visit while you're here. Now we get to some bad news. If you haven't been here for a few years, you might be expecting to visit Horton Plaza Mall but it's been closed and gutted and is currently being rebuilt as an office campus and a lifestyle center instead of a bitchin' outdoor mall. Damn it. Starbucks at 4th and Market was a casualty of the pandemic and is permanently closed. The good news is there's another brand new Achilles Coffee location two blocks closer to the convention center at 4th and J, which, like the one on Park Boulevard, opens at 6.30 a.m. and stays open until 2 p.m. And it serves better coffee, made from beans roasted right here in San Diego. If you remember Monkey King at Fifth and Island, it's being replaced by Zama, a South American restaurant and bar, but there's no way they'll be open by Comic-Con. Berkeley Pizza, one block east on Fifth, is also gone and is being replaced by Taco Centro. If they somehow manage to open next week, yeah, no. The Subway Sandwich Shop at 6th and K has been a godsend for con-goers looking for a portable meal or something to bring to the overnight Hall H line. Unfortunately, they are no longer open 24 hours. They close at 10 now, so plan accordingly. By the way, there's a UPS store on Market past 10th if the FedEx in the convention center is out of control. 
Across the street from there is Grocery Outlet. If they don't have them where you are, these stores specialize in selling deeply discounted closeout and overstock items. What that means is that you may not always be able to find the exact thing you're looking for, but if they have it or something like it, it's going to be cheap. They're a great place to stock up on snacks for your backpacks and hotel rooms, whether you like snack bars or weird varieties of Pop-Tarts or dried fruits, nuts, and chocolates. They have prepared sandwiches near the cash registers and a good selection of chilled, locally brewed beer. Speaking of locally brewed beer, a new spot in East Village that you should definitely check out is the West Brew Downtown Tap Room at 7th and Island. In addition to great local beer, they serve appetizers like a trio of fish tacos and several different creative hot dogs like a Reuben dog and a Vietnamese-inspired banh mi dog. Built into a 1900s era former Mexican Presbyterian chapel, Lost Abbey Brewery's church at 13th and J, just a little bit east of the Central Library and a J walk <coughs> from the mission, is another fantastic new hangout spot in East Village. They open at 2 p.m. and feature 32 taps from one of my favorite breweries, an outdoor courtyard, and snacks like smothered french fries, street tacos, and churros. It is a must visit. Just up the block at Park and J is Storyhouse Spirits, with a chef-driven kitchen serving excellent food, a busy street-facing bar, and a working distillery producing their own vodka, gin, whiskey, and rye. There's additional seating upstairs overlooking the distillery, and they're open at 3 p.m. on Thursday through Monday. Basic Pizza is at the corner of 10th and J. They serve fantastic brick oven thin crust pizza, an excellent salad with pears, walnuts, and gorgonzola cheese, a good selection of beers, and a great dirty martini. They open for lunch at 11.30 and stay open until midnight, seven days a week. Hodad's is a Southern California surfer culture themed burger joint at the corner of 10th and Broadway. I recommend a basket of frings, which are half onion rings and half steak fries, a hand spun malt, and a double bacon cheeseburger. And all of that will probably feed two people or one hungry English bloke. As a former Texan, I don't think it ever really gets hot here, but if you do and you're looking for a cool treat for dessert, I highly recommend Cali Cream homemade ice cream in the gas lamp on Market near Fifth Avenue. They start serving ice cream cones, sundaes, malts, and banana splits every day at 10 a.m. and are open until 11 p.m., 11.30 on Friday and Saturday. The Comic-Con banners are going back up on the convention center. Wraps promoting movies and TV shows are going up on the surrounding hotels. They're building sandcastles along the MLK promenade, and that takes us back where we started, in the heart of San Diego's gas lamp. San Diego Comic-Con is almost here and the gas lamp is a beehive of activity getting ready for the con. If you've enjoyed this video and you check out some of the places that I've highlighted, please let me know in the comments and let me know if you'd like to see more of these. Thank you so much for watching.